And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two What's and the Wow! Two what's in a wow! Two what's in a wow! The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. <laughs> and the category or theme for today is... Dodge! Mindy, why don't you refresh our contestants on how the game works? You know it! Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about dogs. But... And this is a big but. Only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what's. In each round, if you guess correctly, well, congratulations, you win a point. But if you guess incorrectly, you must stop, drop, and do a redonkulous physical challenge. Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Great, then let's do it. Okay, round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, dogs' mouths are cleaner than humans? Or is it B, a dog's nose is as unique as a fingerprint? Or is it C, newborn puppies have better hearing than adult dogs? When you think you have the correct answer, say it in dog. <laughs> Psst, Reggie, <laughs> cue the thinking music. Oh, give the puppy a turn. <laughs> and time is up. Let's now reveal the winning wow. <laughs> and to do just that, it's Lucy from New York. Lucy, tell us, what's the winning wow? Hi, I'm Lucy, and my wow in the world is that a dog's nose is as unique as a human fingerprint. Winner, winner, wet noses for dinner! Thank you, Lucy. Contestants, if you guess the answer B, that a dog's nose is as unique as a fingerprint, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. If you look closely at a dog's nose, you'll see a little pattern of what scientists call beads and grooves. Just like how a human's fingerprints are unique, no two dogs have exactly the same pattern. In fact, there's even an app that scans dogs' noses in order to help reunite lost dogs with their owners. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and howl at the moon. Uh, <laughs> okay, round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, greyhounds can sleep with their eyes open? Or is it B, Dalmatians are born with all black fur and develop white spots as they get older? Or is it C, there are over a thousand dog breeds in the world? When you think you have the correct answer, scream a wish at a star. <laughs> hey, Reg. <laughs> Thinking music! <laughs> and time is up. Joining us by phone, it's Willa from Ohio. Willa, why don't you reveal the winning wow? Hi, Cindy and Guy Ross. My wow in the world is that greyhounds can sleep with their eyes open. It is very creepy. Winner, winner, sleepy tea for dinner! That's right, Willa. Wowzers, if you guessed A, that greyhounds can sleep with their eyes open, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. Greyhounds are known for their ability to run faster than any other dog, but they also love to sleep and they can be so easygoing that they'll sometimes fall asleep with their eyes still open. Greyhounds aren't the only dogs who do this. Sometimes dogs' eyes open a little bit while they're dreaming. 
dogs also have an instinct to stay alert, even while sleeping, which might result in their eyes not closing all the way. Now, if you did not get this answer correct, you must stop, drop, and go fetch. <gasps> go get that tennis ball. Go get it. OK, round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, a corgi named Spud was the first dog on the moon? Or is it B, the oldest known dog breed is the Sharpe? Or is it C, the first dog ever cloned was an Afghan hound? Joining us by phone to reveal the answer, it's Max from California. Max, please tell us the winning wow. Hi, my name is Max, and my wow in the world is that the Afghan hound was the first dog ever cloned. Bye. Winner, winner, DNA for dinner! Thank you, Max. Contestants, if you guessed the answer C, that the first dog ever cloned was an Afghan hound, well, congratulations, you found the winning wow. In 2005, scientists in Korea made a clone of an Afghan hound named Tai using a skin cell from his ear. Afghan hounds are known for being loyal and affectionate, and Tai was chosen because of his sweet and docile personality. Dogs are actually very hard to clone, and it took years of research and experimentation. After 1,095 attempts, scientists successfully created a clone named Snuppy. Now, if you did not get that answer correct, you must stop, drop, and bury an invisible bone. <laughs> What was that? Oh, Guy Razi, that sound can mean only one thing. Someone let the dogs out? No, it's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is, is there a life on other planets? That's a great question, Mindy. Scientists are certainly looking, but so far they haven't found anything for sure. Oh, we should give them a hand. Should we go right now? I could put some rocket boosters on my ice cream truck and... Uh, maybe we should wrap up the show before we do anything, you know, interplanetary. Good call, Guy Raz. Speaking of which, congratulations to all of our winning wowzers. Uh, Mindy, what's today's prize? Guy Raz, today's winning wowzers will all be receiving their very own invention visible can of stain sauce. Uh, stain sauce? Oh, come on. You know what stain sauce is. It comes in different colors, and you can use it to make big stains on your walls or detailed stains on a piece of paper. Oh, paint. Reggie, cue the prize cannon. No! Fire away! in every color, crimson, eggshell, ultramarine. Uh, well, uh, that's all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little scientific challenge for you. We call it Operation Paper Puppy. For this challenge, we want you to make your own dog friend. Draw a puppy on construction paper, cut it out, and give it a name. Your puppy is going to need food, water, and toys, so be sure to draw and cut out plenty of supplies. And don't forget to take a photo or a video. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World and again on Friday for a new episode of Two What's in a Wow. Until then, keep, keep on, on wowing! wowing.